Hi, this is Leo Bortolon. I'm Extension Cropping System Specialist based in Minot. Today I'm going to talk into how we can build and increase our resilience into cropping systems. As you may know, notice uh, this cropping season was very tough on North Dakota, especially in the North Central region. We got extremely drought. We under D4 for a long, long time and the crops were suffering a lot during this time. If we look at medium term and long term into the cropping systems, there are some options that we can take into account to diminish the problems with the dry conditions. So one of this is how to increase organic matter in our, in our cropping systems. So we have an environment that is very uh, challenging to grow crops and to increase organic matter but with the right decision into the crop rotation, we can increase the organic matter. So one thing that we should do is increase no-till. So reducing the tillage, we can conserve more water into the soil and then reduce the evaporation because we can leave the soil, uh, surface, soil surface covered for a long time. And then we can increase our water storage. Another th important thing to do is how we fit cover crops in our cropping systems. So it's very challenging here in North Dakota to introduce the cover crops, especially in the north central and western part of the state. But there are a lot of options that we can rely on to increase uh, the use of cover crops, especially in the late summer and in the fall. And then the cover crops can grow in that period before uh, the frost. And then we have the benefits of leaving plants growing in the short period of time. So this benefits will translate it into increase over time the soil structure. We need leaving roots into the soil to increase soil aggregation, soil structure, and then over time, not a short period of time, but it takes time. So we can increase our water storage capacity. So there is a lot of options that have been researched for North Dakota for cover crops. You can uh, look at the, our publications. So try to fit the cover crops in your system. Another important thing that we have saw this season here in the dry conditions. So a lot of farmers try to seek moisture during the planting time. Seek moisture, I mean plant deeper than their recommendation. So we have seen a lot of problems doing this practice. Uh, you know, we should plant like two inches depth and a lot of farmers trying to plant three inches depth. And we saw a lot of problem for emergency, uneven fields, the soil was crusted. It's a practice that should be avoided. And another issue that prevents your cropping systems to be more resilient is one thing related to speed of planting. We came across with uh, several fields with a uh, speed planting problem. So it developed a crust in the soil surface that prevent the proper emergency of the crops, especially soybeans, the most common problem up here in the region. There is not an easy fix for building resilience into the cropping systems, but there is a medium and long term very feasible options to build your uh, resilience into cropping systems. So uh, my final message is try as much as possible to feed cover crops into your, into your rotation uh, scheme for you get this, all this beneficial in the medium and long term. Thank you. Thank you.